Have you decided? Yes. Who do you think the white pumpkin really is? Now, hang on. Hang on, everyone. First of all, I want to thank everyone for answering my questions. There's still not 100% proof of anyone, but... But... Yes. Where are your suspicions, Lady Jesse? Jesse was definitely questioning Stampy the longest. What? No! Dan was in there way longer. Hey, not cool. Guys, guys, come on. Having gone through all the evidence, I'm leaning towards Dan right now. Whoa, 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 whoa. Are you serious? Are you really serious right There's now? There's way too much drama around Dan wanting his flint and steel back. It's pretty suspicious. Guys, guys, you're not really listening to this, are you? I say we lock him up in the library. Figure out what to do with him in the morning. I fully endorse this plan. Sorry, Dan, but we can't take any chances no, here. No, this is nuts. I'm not the white pumpkin. Aren't you hearing how crazy that sounds? Well, that was certainly some excitement. Yeah, no kidding. If the white pumpkin is still roaming around, though, he might be trying to set up more traps. We need to figure out how these things work. Like, we know that the sparkles trap was triggered by those buttons under the table, but what about the trap that turned Torque Dog into a pincushion? If we figure out how these things work, we might be able to find more proof about who the White Pumpkin is, how they're operating. It must have been triggered from nearby, just like the table buttons. Sounds like we need to investigate near the trap then. You guys go on ahead. I'm gonna stay here, keep an eye on these other people. I don't want them trying anything when we're not looking. Thanks, Lucas. Back in the kitchen. So, what are we looking for exactly? Buttons like back in the dining room? Conspicuous white pumpkins lying around? This whole house could be full of traps. I just want to make sure this place is safe before someone gets hurt. An excellent plan. I wonder where Torque Dog's stuff went when it got sucked away. And Sparkle's stuff, for that matter. These ovens have been busy since we first got here. Who needs that much food? Does this painting have eye holes? Oh, yeah. How did I not notice that before? Seems worth taking a closer inspection. Everyone, make sure you're nowhere near that arrow trap. More of those potion-covered arrows. Nasty. Well, seems like we found out how the white pumpkin killed Torque Dog. Yeah, and how he's getting around the house. I assume we're investigating the creepy passageway? I think we've come too far to turn around now. Well... After you, then. I hope Dan's okay locked up in the library. We could have put them in even bigger danger. What if there are more traps in there? Unless Dan is the White Pumpkin. In that case, we're just keeping everyone else safe. Yeah, I guess. I just hope we find what we're looking for. What do you think that is? No idea. But look, a lever! The amount of redstone wiring that must be hidden in this place. Amazing! Ivor, no! What do you think I am? Gents, I was just looking at it. Oh, good. Thanks for the vote of confidence, though. See anything that this lever might be connected to? What do you see? It's the library.
I see Dan locked up in there. Lizzie, what are you doing in here? I snuck in past that blonde guy. Lucas, I think. We have to talk. About what? I know you pushed the button. No, that's not true. You don't have to lie to me, Dan. I know it was an accident. I know you're not the white pumpkin. Oh, thank goodness. That's such a relief. Yeah, it was an accident, and I felt awful about it ever since. Oh, it's such a relief to be able to talk about this. It's been absolutely tearing me up inside. I'm sure. I just... Haven't you learned anything the about not pumpkin, pushing buttons? The in there! Then oh, let's go come on. Nothing butt. like this has ever happened when I pushed a button. I feel just so awful. Yeah! What, what on earth? watching you from the walls. We need to talk. Oh, no, 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 no. You heard the part where I said it was an accident, right? I'm innocent. What do I have to do to make you believe me? I could... I could go and sit in the corner very quietly and not touch anything, button or otherwise, for the whole rest of the night. Don't worry, Dan. I believe you. Oh, that's a relief. That's a huge relief. Wait. You came out of that portrait in the wall, right? Yeah. I saw one just like that upstairs. What if... Yes. Maybe the white pumpkin... Enjoying the party? <laughs> That's my cue. Come on! Jesse, are you okay? You have to break through! <laughs> guy's fit. <laughs> there! Jesse, I'll cut him off! Ah! <sighs> uh. Lucas? figure this one out myself okay yeah this looks pretty bad Lucas you let the white pumpkin get away hey I came really close all right he took me by surprise stuffed this pumpkin on my head 
It's not like you caught him any more than I did. Well, what's going on in here? No! <gasps> you called the white pumpkin! Grab him, quick! On it! Get out of our way, Jesse. Yeah, it's all out in the open now. You can't defend your friend anymore. Come on, you guys, think about it. Lucas would have never had the time. That's not exactly much assurance. You two have been constantly running around this mansion with no one watching you. Yeah, for all we know, maybe you're his little accomplice or something. It's the facts, Jesse. These horrible things only started happening when your group arrived. And now, Lizzie is gone too. I say we throw him outside and let nature take its course. What? Out outside, outside? Where all the googlies are? No, you can't do that. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I still have my suspicions about Lucas, but Jesse did save me. And you tried to save Lizzie. I don't feel right about chucking your friend to the zombies. Hm. Brave stance. Thank you. See? You all heard Dan, right? Fine. <sighs> Thank you. Don't go celebrating yet. We've still got to do something with you so you're not roaming around freely. What? Like, lock me up in a closet or something? There was a closet in the main hall with a lovely metal door. Seems like a perfect place to lock someone up. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> I was mostly joking. I guess that's fair. But I'm keeping guard because I still don't trust him. That cool with everyone? That's funny, because I don't trust you. It's fine, Jesse. I'll watch over Lucas. Awesome. Come on, Cassie. But don't go getting any funny ideas, blonde guy. This isn't because I like you or anything. No, of course not. Be quiet. Prisoners aren't supposed to talk. Okay, well, what are we supposed to do now? We need to figure out how we're going to clear Lucas's name. And I'd like to do it sooner rather than later. Seems like some of these people are getting a little stir-crazy. One of these people still knows more than they're letting on. We need to talk to them till they crack. Sounds like a plan to me. How are things with you? Oh, you know, just peachy. Stuck in a house with a masked killer. One of my best friends is the current top suspect. It was really nice of Ivor to step up like that, though. Didn't think he had it in him. Okay, well, I vote we get back to it. Don't want to leave poor Lucas in that closet for too long. Still a suspect, Stampy Cat. Got some questions. Seriously? Where were you when the chase with the white pumpkin was going on? I... I don't want to say. Ah, oh, come on, Stampy. You're just making yourself look more guilty. Where were you? Fine. I was sitting in a corner, humming to myself. It calms me down. Uh-huh. Okay, I'll leave you guys to it. Uh -huh. Sounds good. You've been pretty aggro on accusing Lucas. Seems a little suspicious. Not nearly as suspicious as Lucas. Where were you when I was chasing the white pumpkin? Making cookies. I get a sweet tooth when I'm nervous. Don't go anywhere, Stacy. <sighs> sure. Yeah. <gasps> Whoa, 
another secret passage. Well, this looks promising. I wonder what order these need to be in. like one of the arrows that killed Torque Dog. I'm guessing that's not a coincidence. There we go. Awesome. Okay, that seems like a step in the right direction. Yeah, that seems right. Oh, wow! You got it open! Yeah, you guys should stay here. It could be dangerous. No, I totally want to follow you into your friend's creepy secret passageways. Ugh, seriously? You really think Lucas did it? You haven't it? proven that he didn't yet. Hey, we're gonna prove he's innocent. You'll see. Sure, well, see you back here at quarter to never. Come on, Petra. Thanks for having my back. Wow, that is deep. Guess it leads down to whatever the White Pumpkin calls home. I wonder how he gets down there. Maybe in addition to walking through walls, he can fly for all we know. Ugh! It's just... I'm really worried about Lucas. Those people think they're all safe, but the White Pumpkin is still running around, and he could strike again at any minute. Not to mention, all those people back there have been so ungrateful, so petty. Ugh! It's just so frustrating. Petra, don't worry. We're gonna stop the White Pumpkin way before he can hurt anyone else. It's gonna be fine. You're right. I know you're right. <sighs> Sorry, Jesse. I just really needed to get that off my chest. We're gonna get through this. Let's start by figuring out how we're gonna get down there, huh? You know the drill. What have you got in your inventory? Didn't you have all those wood blocks? Sorry, I was whittling earlier. Nervous habit. Well, luckily those should do just the trick. You thinking ladder? Yeah. Gonna need a lot of them. I'll race you. <laughs> You're on. Duh! Oh, you already finished yours. Yup. Slow poke. <laughs> Thanks. I needed that. All right, we got a lot more of these to make. Let's get to work. Okay, that's one down. Lots more to go. find the white pumpkin down here with all these secret passageways i'll be honest i hope we do and this time he's not getting away unscathed brutal i like it hey do you hear lots and lots of zombies yeah i do i'm starting to smell them too oh ditto gross Zombie noises. What in the world is that? Oh, it 
some sort of like zombie spawner. Does that mean the white pumpkin actually made the sea of zombies outside? That's what it looks like. What's that? This is where people's stuff goes after those hoppers upstairs suck it up. You're right. I think that's Lizzie's. Okay, but where's the loot going from here? Hopefully right to the white pumpkin. Hey, you see the light coming out of that tunnel too, right? Huh? Oh, yeah. And it doesn't look like it's blocked off like all the uh, zombie felt ones. Get up there. I think we might be able to follow the loot to wherever it's going. Well, that's awesome. Nice find. How do you want to get up there? Grab some dirt, Petra. We're going climbing. Okay. I think we can jump from here. suspicious you know we're trying to find the white pumpkin oh well i'm glad you haven't run into him yet come on you guys i can't be the white pumpkin i'm stampy cat i'm no murderer huh i needed to find you because i have something important to tell you i have something to confess something i haven't told anyone where is this going I stole it from Dan. It was just supposed to be a joke, a harmless prank, but then, well, you've seen what happened. Wow. Who'd have thought? Well, why didn't you tell anyone? I was scared, okay? People started dying, and then I, I didn't want them to think that I did it. I may be a thief, but I'm no killer. But that white pumpkin is, and he's killing people for it. And now we're down in his lair. I was thinking maybe I should just give it to the white pumpkin. What? Just maybe that would make it all stop, right? Maybe? No, Stampy. You should hang on to it. Yeah. Who knows what'll happen if it changes hands again? I suppose you're right. That looks like a lair door if I ever saw one. in my top 10 places I've ever been. Well, there's where the meowing's coming from. Don't worry, we'll get out of here as soon as we find something that proves the white pumpkin's identity. <laughs> you guys doing okay? I'll be honest with you, I'm pretty worried about Lucas. If the White Pumpkin isn't down here, he must still be upstairs. And I thought that I was okay because I was numb and feeling no emotions at all. But I'm beginning to suspect it was actually shock. 
Don't worry, we're gonna crack this wide open. Oh no. Here's where everyone's stuff gets collected. Those poor people. Looks like a typical brewing stand. Must be where the white pumpkin made the tipped arrows that killed Torque Dog. Didn't Lizzie say that she taught Cassie and Stacy how to make those too? Oh, yeah. Yeah, she did. So that's the potion part, but what about the arrows? I'm guessing this chest should have... Oh, yep, we've got sticks. Anything else? Oh, wow, and ender pearls. Sweet, that must be how the white pumpkin got down that elevator shaft. Should be able to get some string from those cobwebs. It'll go perfectly with those sticks I found. That chest definitely seems important. Okay, kitty, kitty, can you scoot out of the way, please? I need to get in the chest. No, bad kitty. Oh, stupid cats. I need something to distract it if I'm going to get that chest open. would convince that cat to get off the chest. But how am I gonna catch one? Oh, to get a fish! Cats love fish! Yeah, and I saw one in the pond that'll be perfect. Ah! Wow, nice catch, Jesse. Thanks. Bet that cat'll love this. Okay, here, kitty, get the fishy. There you go, jeez. Oh, many cats, so many cats. Oh, cats give me the creeps. No offense, Stampy. None taken. I'm not really a cat. I I can finally get in here now. It's full of portraits, loads of them. He already had all the X'd out ones ready to go. Yep, besides Petra, we've got Dan, Stacy, Stampy, Lucas, Ivor, and oh hey, there's me. But what does it all mean? The cats, the crossed out portraits? Yeah, the portraits. There was one person who didn't have a crossed out portrait. Someone who's a known cat person. Okay, so who did it? Yes, you figured it out? White Pumpkin is Cassie Rose. She's the murderer. Oh, man. You're totally right. I don't believe it. Uh, not only is she the White Pumpkin, but she owns way, way too many cats. Well, come on, you guys. It's time to prove Lucas's innocence and catch us a White Pumpkin. I'll go round everyone up. 
What's going on? Yeah, you were gone an awful long time. What's going on here? Did you even find anything? Quickly, where's Cassie Rose? Cassie? Why do you ask? Yeah, what's up? No sign of Cassie, but... Huh? Are you gonna tell them, or should I just do it? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Jesse, go on. Is this going where I think this is going? The white pumpkin is Cassie Rose. Oh. She's the murderer. <laughs> That's impossible. No way. No way. Yeah, Jesse, I'm afraid you're gonna have to do better than that. Look at the facts. We caught Lucas with that pumpkin head right after poor Lizzie got taken out. I think you're just lying to protect him. Cassie's making a lot of sense right now. Do you have any evidence to back you up? There's something that's been bothering me for a while now. Something that happened in the Great Hall shortly after Tort Dog was hit with that trap. What's that? Go on, Jesse. You've got this. Where is this going? Shh. Let Jesse finish. Cassie Rose was already in the room. No one else there. And Tork Dog's picture was somehow crossed Th out. That doesn't prove anything. Lucas is still way guiltier looking. Well, what about what came next? When we were down in the basement, we found some very interesting items. Items for the White Pumpkin's evening festivities. And there was one very significant detail. What was this evidence? Shh. I think Jesse's about to tell everyone. The White Pumpkin had portraits all ready to go, pre-X'd out, one for each of us, except for Cassie. <gasps> Ooh, that's good. You're doing great, Jesse. Now go in for the kill. Metaphorically. But it was the last piece of evidence, dear friends, that helped me really figure out who we were dealing with here. Cats. Dozens of calico cats. And they all look just like Winslow. An amusing story, Jesse. But if you saw all these supposed cats just like mine, then what color is Winslow? It shouldn't be a problem if you saw a hundred. Cats? Really? Shh. Winslow is black, white, and orange. Cassie, is this all true? This whole thing has been about your crazy scheme to get a portal key, hasn't it? Killing whoever gets in your way. How very clever, Jesse. Well, I guess that's it then. You caught me. I am the murderer. I just don't believe this. I know. I was shocked too. I'm relieved. But... Also surprised. But Cassie, I still don't understand why a portal key. I've been stuck in this stupid world with its stupid two moons for years. Trapped with a portal right under my nose, but no key to open it. That is, until I finally heard that this world's portal key had been found. I knew it was one of you. So I tried my best to earn your friendship, figure out who had it. Cassie, how could you? We shared cookies together. Cookies! Wow, that sounds really hard. Of course, I can't really empathize because, see, I have a portal key. You really wanted one of these, huh? What, you little... We need to do something with you, Cassie Rose. I vote we build an obsidian prison and surround it with love. No, 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 no. I won't let you do that. I can't. No! This is your fault! You did this to me! Ah! Ah! I'll fight all of you! Each and every one of you! Ah! Another trap! We need to dig her out! After everyone she's hurt, she can dig herself out. She did terrible things, but no one deserves this! Yeah! Yeah! Look! I can't believe it. She's gone. What a way to go. Yeah, I guess in all the chaos, she forgot where her own traps were. Wow. After everything she did, she got what she deserved. If only she had just asked us for help, we could have avoided this whole thing. Hey, it's morning. I 
I guess, I guess that's it then. Yeah, we're free. And we're alive. Let's not waste it standing around. There could still be traps everywhere in here. I've never been so happy to smell rotting flesh. Yeah, that is, yikes, that is pretty rank. I feel bad thinking about the people who aren't here to smell it. Talk Dog, Sparkles, Lizzie, and Cassie, I guess. Uh, that's a good point. Yeah, I didn't mean to depress anyone. I just can't stop thinking about them. I'm just glad we stopped Cassie. That is true. Lucky for us, that portal brought you here. Speaking of which, I have no idea how to begin finding our exit portal. Well, Cassie said it was right under her nose, right? That's true. Maybe it's nearby. Hey, what do you know? There it is. A fabulous coincidence! So, I guess this is goodbye, huh? Yeah. Just let us know if you ever accidentally find yourselves in our world. <laughs> That's really nice of you, but I don't think we can really portal hop without a portal key. Oh, uh, well, I think Stampy's got you covered there. You stole the portal key from me? It was just meant to be a prank, a harmless prank, and I'm so sorry, so very, very sorry. Yeah, come on, it's Stampy. You know he would never actually try to hurt anyone. Hey, it's cool, guys, you can share it. You make, like, your own order of the stone. Yeah, all right. I guess I can live with yes, that. that's a wonderful idea. Well, I'm not great at goodbyes, so I'm actually just going to start walking home. Thanks for everything. Yeah, me too. Travel safe, you guys. Bye! What a strange, strange bunch of individuals. Cassie What's-Her-Name was talking about being trapped here from another world. What if she was one of the old builders? Portal keys, other worlds. It all adds up, I guess. Man, that's too bad if it's true, seeing as she turned out to be, you know, the white pumpkin and all. Yes, hadn't thought about that. I just can't believe that we finally met someone who might be an old builder, and she's a pumpkin-wearing serial killer. Typical. Well, here we are. Would you care to do the honors, Jesse? Huh? That's weird. Winslow? That's strange. I thought. see a thing well that's ominous do you hear that and your mites and there it is jesse you're trapped stuck <laughs> just like i've been in this rotten world oh please i've gotten out of way worse than this cassie huh. i admire your bravado I don't know how much time you've spent with Endermites, but the poor things are eternally hungry. I would throw the flint and steel up here before I drop you down to find out how sharp their teeth are. Uh, guys, I dropped the flint and steel when we fell. I have no idea where it went. <laughs> tick tock, tick tock, Jesse. What's it gonna be? The flint and steel? Or your lives? Just give me the flint and steel and I'll let you go free. I don't believe her. Okay, you're right, you win. We'll give you the flint and steel, but let us out first. <laughs> no, I'm not falling for that one. Nope, this is taking too long. I'll just let the Endermites eat you and fish it out of your inventory. It'll be the best fishing trip ever. <gasps> Wings on my pet. Activate the trap. Want something done right, Anton? Prepare for your death. 
Stupid door? Ugh, it's no use. Without a lever, our button will never get these iron doors open. Just hold on, guys. I'm gonna get up to the control panel. Go. Oh, that is disorienting. Uh, just started going faster. Booby trapped her booby traps? That is so paranoid. What? You thought you could do it just like that? Time to get the leverage. Give me the key, Jesse. Guys, no! No! Hey, Jesse! Guys, holy crap, you're all alive, thank goodness. Yeah, for now. Don't worry, I found a lever. Throw it down. Okay, get ready. Got it. Okay, you guys get to safety. I need to find that flint and steel. You're not a fast learner, are you? I grew tired of this game, Jesse. The key. You didn't have it either. Oh no, it's mine. Going home. Give that back, Cassie. No, I'm afraid not. I'll give you one thing. You are incredibly tenacious. <laughs> That's never act, Jesse. It stays on fire forever. Well, Winslow, that's the last of the obstacles. We're finally going home. <laughs> Come on, Winslow. yourself. Look at me! Stuck again! Out of Ender Pearls! And that's where she wanted us to end up. Trapped. In my own trap. <laughs> of course. Of course. Well, at least you're still alive. That's more than Torque Dog or Captain Sparkles or Lizzie can say. You're right. Of course you're right. Wait. 
At least don't leave me here all alone. Give me my cat. My dear sweet Winslow. He's my best, my only friend. Please. Here, kitty. Here, you pain in the butt, kitty. Ah, there you are, Winslow. Who loves you? Come to master. Oh, there you are. There you are. You and me are together forever, just like it was always meant to be. Trapped together forever. Just me and my little Winslow. Wow, so she kept the real portal hidden down here all this time. Unless this one is a trap, too. I don't know if even she'd be that paranoid. Only one way to find out. Good sign so far. Yeah, no trick floors or arrows or anything. Okay, sure. But who's going first? We're a team, we all go together. Ready? One, two, two three. three. Adventure! What's going on, dudes? It's me, Captain Sparkles, next time on Minecraft Story Mode. After defeating the dreaded White Pumpkin, will Jesse and the others find their way back to the portal hallway? And will it lead them home? Or instead, are they destined for more perilous adventures? Well, I guess I'll never know because I got pounded into the ground by a ton of sand. I guess you saw that, right? I'm in the middle of an amazing speech, and boom! I've suddenly become part of the floor. I mean, dude, you saw that, right? How much worse can it get? First, they choose not to invite me on their adventure, and the next thing I know, I'm part of the floor. Anyway, one thing's for certain. Even without me, this is gonna be an amazing adventure. Huh? That's weird. Hi. Winslow? That's strange, I thought... Ah! 